Hey there. Today, I'll be showing you some slick things that I just found. Actually, something slick, not things, because it's just one thing I plan showing you today. Um, this is going to be a pretty short video, and um, it's just about something that I learned with Postgres. And I was like, hey, you know what? Why don't I make a video about it? It might help someone. And um, what I recently learned is how to update several columns in a table from a select statement. And I will explain what that means. It might seem confusing. Um, so I have a database called DVD Rental. Um, this contains several tables you can see. I'm more interested in the city table. And the city table structure contains a city ID, which acts as the primary key, a city, which is just a text field, a country ID, which is linked to the country table on country ID, which is cool. So let's check out the country table. We have country ID, we have country and last update, which is cool. And you can see here that we have several countries here. Awesome. Now let's assume that I needed to have a column here that says country name. Um, say for instance, I wanted to remove this country ID dependency. Um, this is not really something that might happen. I mean, I can't think of a scenario where I would want to do this, but this is all I could think of to show you um, what I want to show you. Um, yeah. So let's assume I want to add a new column here called country name. So instead of displaying the country ID, I also want the country name here. But I want to fetch the country name from this country table here because they should correlate. Um, so let's go ahead with um, adding the table. Um, alter table city and what i want to do is add a column called country name uh, which is basically going to be i think it should be a voucher so let's take a look at it country structure yeah Va varying character 50 which is cool so we have this as voucher 50 in here and we ex execute that statement and it works and when we come back here, we should see our new table name, country name. Now you can see it has several null values because we need to figure out how to populate it. So the idea is I want to, so for this country ID, which is 87, I want Spain to show up here. And for this, which is 82, I want Saudi Arabia to show up here and so on. Uh, one way you could do it is manually, which is basically first of all select um start from city limit one and yeah where country name is not basically we only want one table one row where the country name is null and then we take this and we see like oh yeah this is this has a country id of 87 and then we manually update city and we set country name to be equal to something which we don't know where city ID is equals to one. Then we look for the country name which is 87. that is Spain. So we come back here and update this to Spain. And that works. And if we go back to our table, you can see it's updated. But it doesn't make sense to be to do this one by one because we have like about 600, 600 rows in this table, as you can see. So another thing you could do is run a for loop that goes through each of them and um, select the country ID from the country table and update manually. But then I found like a query that could do both of them together. And that's what I plan on showing you today. So let me clear this place. I'm just going to time it out. So we're going to update the city and we're going to set the country name to be something which we'll figure out. 
but here's the catch would add our last statement called from country where yeah th this is um th this is where it gets tricky so where city dot country id is equal to country dot country id and country name is not because we don't want to update things that have already been updated so all we need to do at this point is country dot country name and basically what is happening here is we want to update every city with a country name gotten from the country table where we're going to match the city the city's country id on the country table to country id and also the country name on the city should be known so we could do something like city dot country name so that we are being specific at this point and if we want this query oh well um so where does this fail country dot country name is not um does not exist so let's go back to the country so it should be country dot country not country name so we'll come back here and do this and we run this yeah you can see it's updated 599 rows because we have already updated one before so if we come back to city and we refresh we can see it has been updated and this is pretty um simple to use and slick um one of the reasons i like postgres is because there are a lot of ways you can do stuff and the good thing about this method is it's also available on MySQL variant, um, I think SQL Server also has this. Um, very, very similar. I think this this should also work for tables there too. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching.